Omaha Surplus! Little business out in Fort Worth. They have a sign already on their building, but they built up a highway on the back side of the property. So now that sign that they put on the back of the building is now really important and it doesn't light. So they talked to Signs Manufacturing to go out there, put our new solar bright LEDs in it and really make that thing shine. Every day we look at signs. Some are beautiful, others not so much. For a business, any business, a good sign is crucial. So where does a good sign come from? Who creates these tantalizing works of art? In the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, it's done right here by the people at Signs Manufacturing. The people we call the Sign Dogs. Omaha Surplus in Fort Worth, Texas. Great business, but kind of a sign that doesn't really work properly. They actually have two signs on top of their building. One's on the front, one's on the back. But now Fort Worth has a highway going through that backside, so the sign on the back needs to light up, and it doesn't. So, signs manufacturing, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna put solar bright LEDs in there, we're going to redo the faces of the sign, make it look new again. I'm Brad Williams, this is Omaha Surplus. We've had a family operated store in Fort Worth for 50 years now and we sell military surplus. Which is a really cool place to go. They got all sorts of military surplus stuff. Stuff for military, uh, campers, hunters, uh, collectors, reenactors, uh, movie props, and uh, we have a lot of people come in for Halloween. That's our biggest time of the year because there's so many different military-based uh, Halloween costumes. It's a pretty neat place. Uh, which is why we're actually talking about it on this show, because what we're actually doing for them is pretty basic. The sign that we're we'll getting today is actually an improvement on a sign that we already have. We're wanting to light it up so that it can be seen from the new bridge that just opened across the way. You can't just put LEDs in an old channel letter sign and expect it to look good. It's like putting lipstick on a pig. Oh, <sighs> she's always hogging the spotlight. <laughs> you need to replace those faces. So we use polycarbonate faces, extremely durable material. We use trim cap, and then we coat the whole thing with Solar Guard. You guessed it. Solar Guard, I like to describe it as sunscreen, but for your sign. Solar Guard is going to make that sign look good for ever until they want to replace that with a whole new logo. Now our solar bright LEDs are pretty cool. Uh, I personally have spent countless hours researching materials, suppliers, uh, everything that under the sun to get the brightest LED possible. And the reason that I'm looking for that is our customers they don't know the technical details of our sign and you know what makes a sign good, what makes it bad. They have no clue. The only thing that they can do that where they can look at two signs and immediately compare and say, ooh, that one's better, is which one's brighter, which is why we put all this work into solar bright LEDs. And they absolutely deliver. At Signs Manufacturing, our LEDs are so bright you can see them from space. See? Oh! Signs Manufacturing, our LEDs are so bright that I looked at some from space the other day and I'm still blind. It was like three days ago. Is that good? We're done? The great thing about our Solar Bright LEDs is we have almost a 0% failure rate. We never have to replace those. When you put them in 20 years down the road, they're still working. We don't have to replace them. Plus, they are significantly brighter than most LEDs out there. We're not married to the technology of the Solar Bright. If we find a better product out there, we will definitely adopt it. But it's been half a dozen years now, and Solar Bright is the best product on the market. What, what separates our surplus store from others is, we think, we have a lot of the old time real military surplus left in stock. We've been doing it since 1963, so we've had a chance to acquire a pretty big inventory of original surplus, and along with a lot of other deals too. 
Show me your war face. Ah. That ain't war face. Did you call that a war? Show me your war face. Ah. Grunt one out. The reason that we, we, that we went with Signs Manufacturing is Robert and I also called a friend of mine who had just recently gotten a fluorescent sign to see who he recommended, and it turned out to be Signs Manufacturing, so I figured it was a lock. All I ever wanted was an honest week's pay for an honest day's work. He and Jose came out. This is Jose. Have you ever met Jose? That's okay. Now he doesn't want to be on film. That is Jesus. That's Jesus. It's not Jose. We took a we took paper and we traced these things. When I say we, Jose in the pen, because I stayed on the ground. He traced exactly the shape of the letter. If they didn't add anything to it, then the faces won't fit because they're exact same as the letter. They gotta be a hair bigger. What we did was just load it full of red LEDs, put some red faces on that thing. They had they already ran a prim, uh, primary circuit up to it uh, with uh, beforehand when they put the structure up there, assuming they would got to probably light it up at some point. And so we peeled and stuck LEDs. Then we pookied them in place. This is the way we lick and stick. Kind of like stick and move. Lick and stick. But you lick this. Eh, it ain't bad. When we put LEDs inside of letters, guess what? They come in this bag, pre-manufactured. They have strips of adhesive on the back with a little tape cover thing you gotta pull off, right? So you pull those off and you apply them in the position you want them to be in. And they, that's fine and dandy, except Texas weather with the heat, and now we know it gets cold too. We like to add a little bit of silicone on there. You either dab it on the wire or down the side of the LED itself, and it, it helps keep the LEDs in place so they don't end up falling off the back of the letter and you end up with a really crappy looking letter there because all the lighting's not lighting where it's supposed to. Then we put the faces on, we hooked up the power supplies, and voila, got these bright red letters, which actually really look good. Okay. Yeah. I'm one of their longtime customers. <laughs> Robert's been coming in a long time. Yeah, I started back in <laughs> coming by here about 1976. Yes, sir. Man, that's a while back. ago. I was 11 years old. If that tells you anything. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> You're stocking shelves. <laughs> yes, sir. More likely sweeping <laughs> floors. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, this this area right here was nothing but. Uh, wooden bins set up on, I guess they were just, yeah, built-in tables and just had a lot of original, real old military surplus. And we try to try to have a little bit of it left as, as much as we can, but uh, yeah, it's evolved a lot over the years. Yeah, they had old tools, all, type, all types of military surplus. And uh, I actually started coming here shortly before I went to the National Guard, and that's where I came here for, bought my first uh, gear for going into the military. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> And then when I went on active duty, I came back and bought more gear. And then I started collecting camouflage and different gear. So I've been coming here ever since. And the more you look, the more you see. Man, I love that sign. Really glad we decided to go with the LED. <laughs> and to do the caps really helped out a lot. It's really brilliant. I like it a lot. It's almost as good as that Montgomery Plaza sign right behind it. What we're trying to get out of this sign is more visibility from a bridge that has just opened up uh, on White Settlement Road. We've been waiting seven years for a uh, for what was a closure to open back up, and we need a way to kind of talk to the people on the uh, going across the bridge. Signs Manufacturing has been great through this whole process. We're really glad that we called them, and it's just been easy. It's like turnkey. Show me your war face. What the? What was that? <laughs> This is the only gun we can have now, and the bayonet sucks. <laughs> there you go. Um, I'm gonna kick the ladder on the bottom right here, catch him as he falls with the camera. That ain't 
no damn war face. Show me your war face. Ah! You trying to grunt one out or what? Ah! You call that a war face? Show me a war face. Ah! I didn't say crap your pants, man. Get. <laughs> get. Just kind of because I have a certain amount of frame. Basically. Yeah! <laughs>